morning everybody welcome back to my channel i'm gonna be filming a little mini like week in my life today i'm gonna be bringing you guys through a few days in my life instead of just doing like a one day vlog and i'm kind of excited about it it is november now which means it's like basically christmas not really but for me i feel like it is and i'm really holding back at decorating for christmas right now because i i could decorate right now I honestly could like I'm thinking about it but I'm like maybe wait a week maybe two I'm thinking November like the week of November 14th 15th I'm gonna decorate that's my plan I'm gonna like hold off until then though I may bring in my Christmas mugs because y'all know that mugs make me so happy so that might have to happen did I just chip my nail already or is that a crumb it's a crap. It's okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> Today should be a really fun day. Um, it's just like a Wednesday in my life. I am having like a slower week this week because as I've told you guys, I was taking some time off. So I'm not uploading any YouTube videos this week when you're watching this, but I am filming. I started filming now because I don't know what to do with myself when I'm not filming. I'm like, what do I, what do I do? <laughs> but I think I'm going to shoot a makeup reel today. So I want to film like a little mini makeup tutorial kind of reel slash TikTok thing for fun. So I'm probably going to do that. I need to go pick up a package that got delivered. I also have two packages down in the parcel room that I need to pick up. I'm hoping one is my Nespresso pods. I ordered some of the Christmas flavors, which I'm really excited about. So I'm hoping that's them. I want to do a quick cleanup. And then tonight I'm going to the Royal Agricultural Winter Fairs opening ceremony really excited they invited me um to go to it i loved the royal fair as a kid i went um because i used to be a big horse girl horse girl right here okay i loved horses rode horses and i loved the royal fair because they had so many horse vendors there i went and saw the show jumping show as a kid loved it my dad brought me it was the best time ever so i'm really excited to go to the opening ceremony i've never been to that so i'm like what is this gonna be so me and aiden are going to that tonight I also have another event tomorrow. I don't know how long today's video is going to be because I feel like I'm used to filming just one day and having it be 20 minutes. So like, how long will this vlog end up being? We will find out. <laughs> the grocery store and I did a giant haul of a ton of stuff so I thought that I would just go through everything with you guys and show you all what I got so I got some tomatoes cucumbers bread for sandwiches sauce toast bagels I need more dish soap so I got that a little mini Frank's red hot sauce because mine is like on its last legs some soup my current favorites I love the red the fire roasted southwestern vegetable from Amy's Organic and then tomato and rice soup is like just an OG fave. Some berries for smoothies after workouts. Some red grapes, green beans, these kiwis, so good. The sun gold ones, oh my God, they're delicious. More of my oat milk for my coffees. Oat milk is like the only thing that I still feel like I prefer in coffee. I don't know, I don't mind 2% milk, but for some reason my frother like will not froth 2%. I'm gonna try again and see what happens, but I have been enjoying this, so all good. I also got some lettuce mix for salads, some honey ham, blueberries, blackberries, a little mini pack of eggs, pears, bananas, another one of my mayo. So this is the, uh, this is the mayo that uses avocado oil. I try and watch like the oils, I'm not perfect. Um, with it, but I do try and check the labels and get alternatives that don't have vegetable oil or canola oil. So I'm trying, but definitely not perfect. I also picked up this milk. You guys know I drink regular milk basically in most things. So this is the Ultra Pure one. It's 50% more protein, no sugar added, which I liked. It doesn't actually have that many ingredients. So got this one white vinegar which i actually got to clean the salt stains off of my boots from last year literally the only reason i bought this um so yeah it's more for cleaning than anything but i got those then i just got some bacon swiss cheese these are the things that definitely have um soy and stuff in them i'm pretty sure does it or does it not maybe it doesn't oh it has canola oil it doesn't have soy that's good I just got the Bistro Express Tomato and Herb Express 
flavor rice. This is great, I love this one. When I'm making like salmon or something and I just want a carb on the side, I'll use this and it's really good. Then I got some lean ground pork because I plan to make like an Asian dish with this. Also just some chicken fillets, some Italian meatballs. I like to add this in with my pasta just to get some more protein. And then I picked up the hard bite chips. I'm trying to swerve off of Miss Vicky's because they use vegetable oil. These ones use avocado oil, which is definitely a better oil for you when it comes to the fat. So I'm trying to do a little switcheroo and have hard bite chips instead. So I got the sweet ghost pepper flavor and the black sea salt flavor. And yeah, that's basically it. I just also got some toothpaste and some more Swiffer WestJet pads. And that's, that's the grocery haul. And it was a lot of money, but it's fine. This will last me definitely a while and I'm gonna put it all away now. My Nespresso pods came, which I'm really excited about. So I thought I'd show you guys which ones I picked up. I tried to go like a little bit more holiday inspired for the season, though they did send me one that was the wrong one, but it's okay. I ordered gingerbread and then on their printout receipt, it says they ordered peppermint. So I think it was like a glitch in the system. So anyways, they sent the peppermint pinwheel, but I remember having this one last year and I really liked it. So I'm sure I will still enjoy it. So I got the peppermint pinwheel. I also got the chocolate fudge pods. These ones are all like coffee size. Um, and they're really good. The chocolate fudge one is so good. It's not like chocolatey. It just has this like, this flavor to it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like one of my favorite pods. I also just got the Malazio. This is like my go-to coffee pod from Nespresso. It's just not too strong, not like water coffee. Like it's so good. And then they had their new like holiday ones which I'm excited to try. So first up, I got the double espresso infinity, infinitely, infin, infin, <laughs> am I okay? I'm glitching. Infinite, infiniment. Oh, that's French. Okay. Infinitely double, double espresso. Great. Anyways, apparently this is a double espresso dark coffee. Let's see what it says. To highlight sweet cereal, vibrant red fruit and woody notes. Yum. So I'm excited to try this. I love a little double espresso if I'm having like a latte. And then I saw my friend Aurora talk about this, I think on her Instagram story. So I was like, I'm gonna try it. It's the Pierre Hermé Paris, I guess it's like a collab. I don't know. And it is infinitely gourmet hazelnut flavor pod. And apparently it's really good. So I'm excited to try that one as well. I might put that one in my little basket of pods right now because I kind of want to try it. I love the packaging. Look at the little pods. How pretty is that? There's like little gold, gold reflection things on it. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna try this one tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna have this. All right, guys, it is like 4.15 now and I'm about to head to Pilates. I'm just doing a quick hour long Pilates class. The last class I went to was really good. So I was like, I'm gonna go again and I'm excited about it. So I'm gonna do that, come back. I need to get ready, make dinner, walk Millie, feed Millie before 8 p.m. Well, before 7.30 basically, because we need to head over there before it starts. <laughs> so we've got a lot to do, but it's okay. I'm gonna head to the class, get that done, and then we'll come back and we'll grind out before we go to the Royal Winter Fair opening ceremony. I'm so excited. I hope there's like a bunch of horses doing cool stuff. I'm like, so excited. Also, it's randomly like misty out. I don't know what's going on. Or foggy, I guess. It's foggy. Sunny and foggy at the same time. Weirdest weather ever. ready to go to the royal fair opening ceremony so makeup is the coasters revealer foundation my rose ink face products because they're my favorite right now tower 28 their new mascara bomb and this lipstick which i'm obsessed with the shade it is rose inks lipstick in the shade poetic it's made to be the exact color of rosie huntington whitley's lips and i'm here for it it's stunning. I'm just waiting for Aiden and then we're gonna head 
to the fair. I'm very excited. I have my little vlog camera in here so I can film some stuff. I don't know what's gonna be happening. Maybe, hopefully, horses jumping. That's what I'm hoping for, we'll find out. But I got my camera ready. I'm gonna be taking all the pictures, so. I'm just wearing this sweatshirt from Abercrombie, Abercrombie jeans. And I'm just gonna wear heeled boots in my like nice pea coat. Cause I don't really know the dress code. Like it's just an opening ceremony and I'm gonna be like in a chair, like in a stand. I'm not like going to anywhere special. So I think I'm fine. I'm hoping I'm fine. The thing is, is I know they're having a gala before the opening ceremony. And I'm like, I feel like those people are gonna go to the opening ceremony and they're gonna be like all dressed in the nights. But I don't know. I guess I'll be in jeans. What can you do? <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> so fun yesterday so much fun i love stuff like that um it just reminded me so much of when i used to ride horses as a kid i'm like this is crazy but anyways i loved it the show jumping was so cool to watch the um rcmp little dancing they did with the tenor singing in the background i was like oh my god this is so cool there was just so many cool performances the dog show was like amazing so thank you again to the Royal Winter Fair for inviting me to go to the opening ceremony. I literally loved it. It was so amazing. My morning has been good, but a little bit of a rough start because those eggs that I made that I showed you, yeah, I think they were a little bit off. I didn't eat them. I had two bites. I had one bite and I was like, that tastes weird. And then I tried a second bite and I was like, no, for real, that tastes weird. So I threw them out because I think that they had gone bad, even though they don't say that they're expired, but there was something going on in there. It wasn't right. Didn't taste right. If it tastes funny, you don't eat it. If that's like a rule that I live by. <laughs> but my plan right now is I'm actually gonna go and wash my hair. It's not super greasy, but I feel like it could, it could do. It's not really even greasy at all, to be honest. But uh, I could wait till tomorrow. I wanna style it though, cause I think I wanna film a little updated fall makeup routine, real TikTok kind of thing. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I kind of want to go maybe work in a cafe today to edit um, the portion of the video that I have so far, just to get out of my apartment. It's another like super foggy day, which isn't really, you know, the vibe. Like it's just like, it looks like I'm living in a cloud. I've been pinning a bunch of different haircuts because I'm getting my hair cut in December, literally not for a month. I just feel like I need a new haircut. I'm bored. Really the main thing is if I want to get curtain bangs cut again, I don't remember if I liked them on me. I feel like I don't know if I want like short ones, but maybe like to here. I like a bunch of different hairstyles on here. Like I like this, I feel like it's really pretty. Not the color, just the cut. Like that's nice. Obviously Matilda's hair is always stunning. So I love that though. I don't know if it would look that good on me. 
I have this haircut, it's very layered. Ooh, stunning. This one this, of this video of this girl. <laughs> I feel like this is most likely what I'll go for, but then my hair grows so fast that I almost want to get my curly bangs cut to like here because it'll probably just grow to here in like a month. So yeah, I have a billion pictures saved because I don't know what I want to do. I feel like since my hair, I last got it cut, it's already grown so much. Like it was like up to here and it's down to here again. Though I do like this length. I feel like maybe just a few more layers, face framing layers and the bangs like retrimmed to be like here. I feel like that would look really nice. So that's my game plan. I finished doing my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. I feel like I tried, I tried a different technique this time and I actually kind of like it. It reminds me more of like the Matilda hair a bit. The, the, the long pieces are throwing me though. Like I feel like I want them like a bit shorter. I'm like just debating between getting like an actual curtain bang or just like maybe like a long one. Just so that it'll be easier to like style them because it's a little bit awkward length right now. I put some hairspray in my hair though so I'm hoping, I'm about to let Millie out, that it won't completely fall out because that would be not ideal. I'm gonna go for a walk in the fog, basically in a giant cloud. So, should be a good time. And I'm gonna try and uh, stay safe out there because right now you literally looks like you can't see anything. I'm hoping on the ground we'll be able to see. Although the, cloud, the fog's not ground level. <laughs> Everybody, happy Friday. I'm punching my hand, but happy Friday. I am, my hair, <laughs> I'm about to head to the gym. I'm gonna do a weightlifting day today. So I'm gonna do some biceps. I'm just gonna do an upper body day, like full upper body. So chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps, back. I'm just gonna do all of it. Just literally from my torso up, <laughs> other than abs, I'm gonna do today because I haven't lifted weights in that many days, not, not as much as I would like to. So plan is, is we're gonna go do that today. I like to just do upper body in one day because I don't really love training upper body, to be honest. I do like back, but upper body in general, I'm like, meh. Sometimes I just like to do it all in one day and just crush it all out at once. Especially because a lot of the other exercises that I do, like yoga, Pilates, all that includes upper body. There still is a lot of upper body strength in doing all those classes or workouts. But when I do strength training, I feel like it's a little bit more targeted in that area. So that is my plan. I'll show you guys my outfit for this morning. So my sports bra is from Story. I love this one because the back's like all open. I love wearing like really open back sports bras on upper body day. And then these leggings are alpha elite ones. Haven't worn them in a bit. They're super comfy and cute. So that's the plan. I'll bring you guys along and film as much of my workout as, you can, as I can, but you guys know that the gym can be quite busy sometimes. So we will see how busy it is. Cause that'll be a deciding factor. <laughs> but that is the plan. And I'm going to head there now. Lens cap is going on. <laughs>
later now. I'm actually just heading to can of pops because I need to pick up a package and I thought I would also get one of the Starbucks holiday drinks because why not I haven't done it yet probably gonna do the sugar cookie latte that one's my favorite though I haven't ever tried the other ones to be honest I'm not really into super sweet drinks so I feel like I normally go for ones that aren't super sweet that or I'll ask for like one pump of the sauce because I hate when it's like overkill but we'll see We'll see which one tickles my fancy when I get there. But the fog is finally gone, which is so nice. Can actually see the CN Tower again. See in front of you, which is amazing. That fog was not it. Though it did make for a really great Twilight Marathon, which I did do. I did 100% watch <laughs> two of the Twilight films yesterday. No regrets, though they are like 100 times more cringy than I remember them being as a teenager. Like, I'm like, girl, why are you tripping so hard, you know? But anyways, heading there now. It's so nice out. I decided to try a different Starbucks drink today. So I did the chestnut praline latte, just a tall. Grandes are huge. I can only have a grande this morning. So a tall um, with regular milk, no whip, because I don't like whipped cream on my coffees. I don't understand that. So no whipped cream, and I just got one pump of the sauce so that it's not too much. And it's so freaking good. This one's really good. Like just as good as the sugar cookie. So now I'm like, I don't know which one would be my favorite. Which one? Like, I don't know, they're, they're freaking good. There's that other one that I haven't tried either, the caramel brulee, I believe. Is that it? I'm not sure 100%, but anyways, I really like this. So I'm gonna drink that while I work on some editing this afternoon. Also the package that I picked up was from Auric, which is really exciting. So they sent over two new shades of their restorative like lip treatment balm. I loved the original one and now they came out in two different colors. So they have this like cherry kind of muted rose kind of color. And then this one is the plummy shade. It's called Haze. And then this one is called Ripe. So I'm really excited about these because I love a tinted lip balm. Y'all already know that I love a tinted lip balm. Anyways, I'm gonna do some editing now on my couch. <laughs> I really should edit in the office. Like, that's why it's set up like that. But I just, I like to edit with something in the background. So I like to put the TV on and I have it on playing while I edit. I just enjoy it better. It just is nice. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna drink my little latte. I also ordered just a couple things off of Alpha Elite. I'm trying to like motivate myself to get back into weight training, get myself, you know, like gym boss again because I feel like I've fallen off a little bit of the train. So I'm trying to get back on and nothing motivates me like workout clothes do, honey. They motivate me a cute fit. I'm like, oh shit. So I just love these leggings. So I ordered a little matching set and then another pair of leggings in this really nice shade that I like just called gingerbread on their website. It's kind of like a muted ready brown color, which I really enjoyed. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna do some editing now. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. I'm just getting ready. My mom's actually on her way here. We're spending the day together downtown. So it's time for me to fix myself right now because I look tired and I just woke up. So first up in the morning that I apply is the Coast RX Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence just kind of starts off the hydration. Then I'm gonna apply the MyBlend Radiance Vitamin C Serum, which I really like as well. Just one pump of that. I also think I'm gonna Dyson Airwrap my hair. 
though it does look good i gave it a blowout yesterday and i find that's my favorite way to style it right after i wash it because the next day it just still looks good well i find sometimes if i curl it it gets a little funky the next day you know but not when you do that so anyways then my moisturizer i have been loving this i got this in the sephora sale it is so freaking good if you have dry sensitive skin the skin fix barrier plus triple lipid peptide cream you just like squeeze it down to get the moisturizer out and it's like perfect this is definitely like thick but i love a thick moisturizing like cream i want all the moisture because my skin gets so dry and i feel like if i don't moisturize it well my skin it just becomes problematic where i'll have dry spots and i'll have oil in certain areas like a lot of moisture is so important to me so i've been loving this it's so nice like 100 percent my favorite moisturizer at the moment and i will repurchase this because i really love it so i'm just blending that in i always apply the excess just on my hands like a hand cream <laughs> to make sure my hands are nice and moisturized and then i'm gonna apply the summer fridays shade drops broad spectrum spf 30 mineral milk sunscreen again a really really good product that i've been loving sometimes i forget about wearing sunscreen in the winter but then i remember i guess fall we're not in winter yet that the sun is still out just because it's not warm does not mean that the sun's not there and especially if you're using products like i use like vitamin c retin a you want to be wearing sunscreen every day so i love this one it fits it works really well under makeup and it just doesn't have it's just so smoothing on your skin and provides like a really nice glow as well probably my favorite sunscreen i have tried in a while like this stuff is so good i feel like summer fridays is just they always hit like their products are so good all the time like i don't understand how are they so good all the time they don't miss at that place Oh, Millie's got zoomies. I think I want to. Do I want to air wrap my hair or just leave it? The question of the day. I think I'm gonna air wrap the ends, just to give it that nice little curl at the bottom. It just. It looks cute. It looks cute. What do you got? You got a toy? Okay. Air wrap. The Big Barrel is my current favorite. So I'm gonna take that one. I think I'm gonna do just the ends. Let's see. Oh wait, this is not. Want to that to there so I can see which way I'm turning it. Okay. This should. Yeah, under. Nope. All right. just kind of gives you like this little blowout ends super cute so I'm going to hairspray that so it doesn't fall out because my hair does not like to stick that well and I'm gonna do the same on the other side
friends. I haven't updated you guys yet, but obviously I am ready. My mom is here now. Hello. And we're just doing some shopping, basically. Well, for our housing. favorite pastime. Yeah, mostly like home decor shopping too, not even clothes shopping, home decor. Just looking around. We're gonna go into Ossington, Queen Street West, that kind of stuff. It's my outfit. This shirt is from Zara. Sweatshirt is Aritzia. It is much later now. It's so windy out. The wind is like a turbine, okay? It's so loud. Anyways, my mom has left. We had dinner together. We finished up our little shop. We just did some like home decor stuff, looked around at a couple stores. I was kind of looking for a new couch because I really want to get a new one. I don't like mine. The velvet is like the worst with the dog. Um, so yeah, I'm looking, I'm in, the, I'm in the shopping for a new sofa for my living room and then of course when me and Aiden like we do move in together I'll bring that sofa with us so I think I found one that I like at Sunday Furniture um, I really like theirs it looks really comfortable so that's what I'm like leaning towards but we will see anyways tonight I have plans to go to a cocktail bar with my friend Natalie so she is gonna come here when she's done her like shift she's working she works with horses so she's doing some horse stuff at the Royal Winter Fair then she's gonna head to mine and I think we're gonna head there. I like never go out anymore, so I'm like, I'm gonna be tired. <laughs> Our reso is at 10.30 and I'm like, normally I am in bed by 10.30. Like I am asleep. So I'm like, okay, I need to mentally prepare myself for this excursion. <laughs> it's not like, we're gonna be sitting down so it's a bit more chill you know it's not like a hardcore bar scene because that overwhelms me now at my old age <laughs> but i think i picked out a cute outfit i'm just gonna wear this little cute bodysuit t-shirt thing that has like cut opens with just jeans and boots really simple i'm gonna carry a black bag and my makeup actually has lasted so well i love love the kosas foundation like it i wish i had some good lighting here you can kind of see me better here it lasts so well like it's so amazing so my skin and stuff and my eye makeup still looks good i'm just gonna probably put some lipstick on and call her a day that way um my hair kind of fell out a bit but basically when you do the curls with the dice and i feel like it leaves it looking just like you have like a nice blowout like it doesn't stay looking super curled or anything like that but you just have like the volume in like the texture of a blowout in your hair like all my ends are curled under which is really nice and yeah i'll show you guys my outfit when i end up getting changed i think right now i'm like debating whether or not i should make another caffeinated tea i have like a mixed feeling you know because i'm like i feel like i probably will just because i really don't want to be tired it's like 8 p.m right now so she's not even gonna be here for like an hour and a half like time is ticket <laughs> good morning everybody it is the next day did i fail at vlogging anything last time when i was natalie yes I just like, you know, when you're with your old friends like that, you've been friends with forever and you just end up chatting about so many memories and I just forgot. I just had some friend time. Totally forgot to vlog any of it, but Mother Cocktail Bar was really good. Their cocktails are quite expensive, but they are quite good as well. The ones I had were really good. I had two tequila ones because I love tequila. I'm going to pick a alcohol. It would be wine or vodka soda or tequila. <laughs> And I really like it. So anyways, it was really fun. Came back, went to sleep. We had daylight savings last night, so the clocks went back an hour. So I'm kind of, the time is messing me up. I feel like it's lunch, it's 10.30 in the morning. It's like messing with me. <laughs> so I just deep cleaned my bathroom because it needed it. I cleaned the toilet and the sink, the counters, the mirror, all of that. 
and I've kind of cleaned the kitchen. I wanted to have like a lazy Sunday, but I'm also like that person that if my apartment's a mess, I'm like, I want to clean it. So I always end up cleaning on Sundays. It feels like no matter what, I'll probably still vacuum and just get the dog hair off the floor. That's kind of my plan for today. But I was just gonna end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you're happy to have me back, hopefully, after my week off. Um, so for the rest of November, I'm definitely gonna be uploading three videos a week. That is the plan. And then going into December, it should be three videos and then probably my 12 days of Vlogmas. And then we will see about, what was I gonna say, about, how many videos I'm gonna upload in 2023. I'm like debating between doing two week or three week. Let me know your preference. I don't know, I feel like with two videos a week I can probably produce better videos. Quality over quantity, you know? So we will see what I end up doing, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know when you guys are decorating for Christmas. Like, can, can I decorate this week? Because I kind of want to. Let me know. <laughs> and I will see you all in my next video.